Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. It's that season again. It is card reveal season, and Blizzard has given me quite a few cards to show off to you guys from the upcoming Voyage to the Sunken City expansion. Uh, let me just put up the first one here while we talk about a little bit of the context for these type of cards. I'm going to be revealing six cards and their corresponding cards, so 12 cards all together. Now, as you can see from the Asharan Mooncatcher here, put a Sunken Mooncatcher on the bottom of your deck. This is kind of the theme of the cards I'll be showing you guys today. And the idea is that it works pretty well with the Dredge mechanic. What is the Dredge mechanic? The Dredge mechanic is a newly introduced mechanic in this expansion where you can look at the bottom three cards of your deck and choose one to put it on the top of your deck. So there's going to be some very powerful effects that very literally bottom out cards in your deck. And yeah, for you who don't want to play these type of sunken cards, um, you can maybe utilize it in other decks where you need to combine certain cards with combos. Um, there's, there's some interesting stuff with the mechanics for sure. But the very bottom of the deck mechanics are what we're going to highlight today. Starting with this one, it is a Paladin card, 4-2 mech and Divine Shield. For 3, it stands up pretty decently as a standalone. And of course, the Sunken Mooncatcher card is going to be a pretty powerful one, as these cards are going to be. It also has Divine Shield. It is also a mech 4-2 for 3. And the Battle Cry summons a copy of this, functioning with some of the hand buff mechanics as you might encounter them throughout. Now, the next one here is going to be the Priest bottoming card. It is the Asharn Ritual. So it silences a minion and summons a copy of it as well as putting the Sunken Ritual on the bottom of your deck. Now, just like the Paladin card, it is quite a bit better than the original card. The Sunken Ritual silences a minion, also for four, but you summon two copies of it. So very powerful stuff there. Next up, we have the Hunter one. Now, the Hunter one is pretty cool because for you to get the sunken effect, it actually has to die. It is a death rattle. So as a baseline, it is a four cost three, three beast with rush and this death rattle. Now, the death rattle that gives you a sunken saber gives you this card, Sunken Saber. It also has Rush. It is also 4 for a 3-3 three, three as a beast, but it summons a beast from your deck. So very powerful combo potential in this case. Um, or maybe you can just keep summoning other Sunken Sabers as you might be playing several of these cards. And because it's a Death Rattle, you can perhaps chain it quite a few times until you get your choice endgame beast pulled from your deck. Then we have the Warlock card. It is three for a three for Murlocs. Love those. So as a battle cry, you put a Sunken Scavenger on the bottom of your deck. And a Sunken Scavenger is this card that gives your other Murlocs plus one, plus one, wherever they are. This is like the old Cthulhu style mechanic. It is a very powerful mechanic because it is essentially a buff that cannot be removed. Um, and who knows? Maybe it can be used to great effect. Maybe there are going to be other Murlocs in the future. Next up, we have the Asharan Scroll. This is a Shaman card. It discovers a Fire, Frost, or Nature spell. And Shamans do have those, so you'll be looking at a Shaman card from those. And you put a Sunken Scroll on the bottom of your deck. Also to note, it is a one-cost spell. Small spells have their uses throughout the game, so that's something to be mindful of. As well as, the well, the Sunken Scroll is pretty good here. It adds a Fire, Frost, and Nature spell from your class to your hand. Now, the reason it says from your class, because there are, you know, the discovery. There's, there's ways to end up with spells that are not of your class, of course. So, um, that allows allows it to have some direction rather than it being completely random. Very powerful as well. And lastly, we're going to go over the Asharan Trident. It is the weapon version of these sunken cards. This is a warrior card. It is, as a baseline, a three cost three two. Um, you know, Fiery War Axe, essentially, but it also has the Death Rattle effect. So after you've attacked twice or replaced the weapon, you put a Sunken Trident on the bottom of your deck. What is a Sunken Trident? It is this card. 3 for a 3-2 as well. And after your hero attacks, 
deal two damage to all enemy minions. A fantastic tool to stay in it and clear those early game boards. Overall, very cool cards. I want to thank to Blizzard for uh, allowing me to reveal these for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.